Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw Rocket Raccoon from the Guardians of the Galaxy. Now before we begin, I want to make sure that you've hit that subscribe button so you get access to all my lessons and community feed. So let's get started with the eyes. From the center, we're going to move over to the left side and draw on the lower edge of the brow. So we'll start on the outside, we're going to draw a curve going up and then down on the inside. We're going to leave a large gap in the center and do the same thing on the right. So let's line up the inside of the brow, we're going to curve up and then down on the right side. Now from the inside of the brow, we're going to blend into a curve going up towards the center. Starting on the left, we're going to round this out and then come up. Go down towards the right and just round this out. Now from the ends of the brow, we're going to curl out and up. Starting on the left, we're going to blend into a curve. And do the same thing on the right side. Now from here, we're going to draw on the top of the brow. From the end, we're going to curve down, come across and up. I'm just going to pull that down towards my starting point of the brow. Let's do the same thing on the right. Come down, up and across, and then down towards the inside. Now we're going to add that little fur detail on the inside of the brow. Starting from the center, we're going to curve up and out towards the left. Go back to the center and go up and out towards the right. Now we're going to work our way down. From the top on the left, we're going to curve in, go out, and then round it out along the inside, along the bottom. Now we're going to tuck the eyes in underneath the brow. It's like a half circle. Starting from the outside, we're going to step in, Curve down, now we're just going to pull that up towards the inside of the brow. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now on the left side of each eye, we're going to draw a small circle for a highlight. Starting on the left side, pull out that circle. Now we're going to line this up along the right side. Let's go in and fill the eyes in black. Now in between the eyes and the middle, we're going to step down and draw on the top edge of the nose. Starting from the left, we're going to curve up and then back down. Now we're going to connect these two points with a half circle, coming down and then back up. Let's go ahead and fill the nose in black. Now we're going to draw the muzzle around the nose. Starting from the center at the top, curve down and out in between the eye and the nose. We're going to round up the muzzle and then come down and in towards the center. Now I'm going to work my way back up towards the right. Come around towards the right, towards the eye. Now I'm going to blend into a curve going in between the nose and the eye and then up in the middle. Now let's add in the mouth. In the bottom of the nose, right in the center, we're going to curve down and out towards the left. And at the end, we're just going to curl this down. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving down and out, and then bend that down on the end. Now let's draw the inside edge of the face. Starting from the bottom corner of the brow, we're going to curve out and then down. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to turn this up just to create a little point of fur coming in. Now we're going to round this out and come in towards the chin. Curve out. Now we're just going to pull that in behind the lower chin. Now let's draw on the outside of the cheeks. So from the top point of the brow, we're going to step out, curve down and out towards the left, and we'll do the same thing on the right. Now we curve this down and in. So we're just going to taper it in to create a point of fur. Now let's curve down and out again. We're going to go a little bit longer this time towards the tip of the cheeks. Now I'm going to curve down and in again with a short curve coming into right about there. Now we're going to do an overlap. About halfway along this line, curve down and we'll pull that in behind the cheeks. Now from the side of the head, we're going to curve this in and up towards the inside of the ear. So blend into a curve going up 
just pull that in. Now I'm gonna draw the inside edge of the ear. Starting from this line, I'm gonna curve up and out towards the left. Do the same thing on the right side. We're gonna round out the tip of the ear and come down and in towards the side of the head. And we're just aiming down and in towards the corner of that brow. Let's do the same thing on the right. Round this out, come down, and then in. Now let's draw the inside edge of the ear. Starting from the top, curve across, and then in. And then we're gonna add two bumps along the top of the head. From this point, we're gonna step in, curve up, and we're just gonna pull that down in towards the middle. Do the same thing on the right, going up, and we'll just cross the inside edge of the ear. Let's add a couple whiskers on either side. On the left side here, we're gonna curve up and then down. We're gonna step down and draw a shorter one coming downwards. Let's do the same thing on the right. Lining this up, start with the top whisker, step down, curve across, and then down. Now that we finished the head, let's work our way down the body. Let's start with the inside edge of the collar. On the left side, underneath the chin, I'm gonna draw an angle line coming down and in. Same thing on the right. Now we're gonna angle down and out with a short line. Now we're gonna go up. We're gonna follow that same angle, going up to right about there on the outside edge of the shoulder. Now we're gonna come in with an angle line towards that same starting point. Now let's connect the inside points with a curve, coming down and then up. Now we're gonna work our way down the side of the body. From the corner, we curve out and then down towards the hip. Now we'll connect these two points with a curve, coming down and then back up. From the hip, we're gonna step up and draw that same curve going across from the top edge of the belt. In the center, we're gonna leave a gap. On the left side, we're gonna draw a straight line coming down and do the same thing on the right. From the center of the collar, we're gonna draw two straight lines coming down towards the buckle side by side. Let's add an angle strap on the side of the body. From this corner, we're gonna step down, angle up and in. I'm gonna come down and in, in a short line. I'm gonna follow that same angle going out. Let's add two pouches along the bottom. From the top of the belt buckle, we're gonna step out, go up, go straight across, and then come straight down towards the belt. Now let's continue working down with the legs. From the buckle, we're gonna step down, draw a curve from left to right, going up, and then down for the lower torso. Now on the left side, we're gonna step in, curve out, and then down toward the left heel, and then the right heel. From here, we're gonna round out the bottom of the feet. So from heel to toe, we'll curve down and then back up. Let's round out the top of the foot. From the toe, we're gonna to curve up. We're gonna round out the foot. Now we're gonna aim towards the heel. We'll stop right about there. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Let's separate out the toes. From the tip of the foot, we're gonna step in, draw a curve going up and in. Leave another gap and draw that twice. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Now let's add the toenail. In between these two points, I'm gonna draw a half circle. In between here, draw another one, and then one more along the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna move back up towards the hip and draw on the outside of the leg. Starting on the left, we're gonna curve out, Round out the knee and pull that in towards the top of the foot. Just above the top of the foot, we're gonna step up and draw a curve from left to right, coming down and up. Now let's add in the knee pad. From the top of this line, we're gonna step up, draw a half circle, going in and then back out. We're gonna add some lines in the knee pad. 
From the top, we're gonna step down, draw a straight line, leave a gap, and draw that same line going across. Do the same thing on the right. We're just gonna line this up. Now we're just gonna add a patch along the side of the leg. From the hip, we're gonna step in, follow that same curve of the leg coming down and in behind the knee pad. Now we're going to move back up and draw on the arm. So I'm going to have him holding two pistols. Let's start with the left arm. From the top of the shoulder, we're going to step down, angle down and out towards the left, towards the elbow. Then we're going to go straight across towards the wrist. Let's do the same thing on the right. Come down in an angle. Now we're going to go straight across towards the wrist. Now back on the left side, we're going to curl around the thumb. Starting from the wrist, we're going to go up, round out the thumb, come down, I'm just going to pull that up. We're going to add the palm. We're going to step down, curve down, and then in. And at the bottom of the thumb, we're going to add a V for the thumbnail. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the wrist, we'll go up, down towards the tip of the thumb, round it out, and then pull that up. Step down, curl down, and in. Now at the bottom, we'll add that V for the nail. Now back on the left side, we're going to add three fingers. So in behind the thumb, we draw an oval, going around, and then back in behind the thumb, we'll add two more fingers. Step in, curve out, down, and in behind the thumb. We'll do that one more time. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now let's add the handle of the gun. Starting from the inside edge of the thumb, we're gonna come straight down and go across, just underneath the last finger. And we're gonna pull that straight up. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting up in here, come straight down, go across, and then up underneath the finger. Now in between the top two fingers, right in here, we're gonna come out with a straight line. We're gonna go straight up, Towards the top of the gun. Now we're gonna go up just over the thumb, going across. Now we're gonna come straight down on top of the thumb. Let's do the same thing on the right. In between the fingers, go out, go straight up, come across just over the thumb, and then back down. Now along this edge, we're gonna add two squares. So from the top, we're gonna step down, draw a line going out down and then in. From the bottom we're going to step up, go in the opposite direction, going across, up and then in. Do the same thing on the right side. Now let's finish off the top of the gun. From the top corner we're going to go straight out, go up, and we're going to pull that in going across just past that line and then we'll come straight down about halfway along this line, we're going to come across and in to right about there. And we're going to angle down and in towards the top of the gun. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from here, we'll go out, up, pull that in, and then down. Now halfway along the line, we're going to come in and then angle down and in. Now let's finish off the bottom of the arm. From the bottom corner of the handle, we're going to step up. Draw the inside of the palm, going in and then up. Now we're going to step back down, curve down, and up in behind the body. Do the same thing on the right. Curve the bottom part of the palm, step down, curve down, and then up. Now the last thing we're going to do is add the tail over on the left side. We start from the hip, curve down, and then back up towards the left. We're going to add some fur. Curve down and in. Now we're gonna go out with a longer curve, and then we'll come down, down, and then in. We're gonna do an overlap about halfway along this curve. Come down. Now we're gonna pull this up in behind the leg. Let's add a stripe in the tail. From the top, curve out, and then back in. We'll step in, draw that same curve all the way towards the bottom of the tail, and that's pretty much it. There we have it, this rocket raccoon from Guardians of the Galaxy. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.